Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Sir, who discovered black holes? So, the discovery of black holes, as I said, it's been a series of, it's, it was never one instant saying, on this day we did not know there was a black hole and on that day we know there's a black hole. Because the nature of the, of the detection of black holes has been so indirect, it's been a slow accumulation of multiple observations about multiple objects, slowly confirming our belief, belief still is the word I use, confirming our belief that the black hole is the best explanation for the observations. There has never been, I would say, if you have to put a date on when there was a black hole, when there was no black hole, the separation between the two would be when you, when you discover an event horizon, detect an event horizon. That would be a, an absolute definitive uh, proof of a black hole. But in the absence of that, over the last 30 years, there's been a growing body of evidence that there are perhaps black holes in the world, universe. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, John Michael, which I, I was reading on the internet about the black hole. So, when John Michael first stated something about there being a black hole, or the concept of a black hole, so, in the, thing, so, the 1800. It's been mentioned several times over the last 150 years. But I think uh, our understanding of a black hole has evolved enormously over the last hundred years. It's, uh, it's changing. Our growth of Einstein's theory of relativity. Yes. Really? That's the foundation on which our understanding rests. Laplace. Laplace was one of the persons who mentioned that if, if photons were the way Newton said it was, little corpuscles, uh, then they must be attracted by objects large enough to absorb them. And so that is one of the first things, yes. The question which I couldn't ask earlier about the black holes, that often black holes are compared to whirlpools in the water, but uh, we can come out of the whirlpool by swimming uh, in its direction. So is it possible for a black hole also? One of the problems with black hole is there's all kinds of analogies which are used in popular literature, which may not be appropriate at all. Uh, it's, it's important to remember, just like uh, Prasad talked about the expansion of the universe being likened to the surface of a balloon. It's important to understand how far you can take the analogy and where you should not take the analogy. Whirlpool, I would again classify as one of those things which are okay for a first description, but I wouldn't take that very far. Thank you, sir. The trouble there is the interior of the black hole is by definition inaccessible to whoever is outside. I have no way of knowing what's inside. And the, whatever is inside, they have no way of knowing what's, because the speed of light is the only speed, is the maximum speed at which any kind of information can be transmitted. Okay, never mind practicality. This is theoretical. Okay, so there's no, there's no such thing as coming out of a black hole or going into a well, going into a black hole. Yes. In fact, there is no such thing as going into a black hole either. If I was, if if you read even slightly advanced uh, sci-fi books, you you understand that if a person uh, outside of the black hole is observing someone going into a black hole, they'll just see them asymptotically approach. They'll never see them fall in. That's simply not possible. It's often said that the people or anything which enters the black hole is spaghettified. So is it just a that, that is because spaghettified because the tidal forces will be so large that they'll break it apart. Yeah, yeah, all that is fine. But, but that'll actually happen well before you enter the black hole. <laughs> uh, that, that's one thing. That'll happen well before you enter. Okay. But even suppose there are some life form that will still be able to send signals. Still, you know, those signals, you can observe them, you can observe them, but you will never be able to tell when exactly that person entered, whatever that means. Okay, so therefore, even from a purely, uh, whatever... Even a conceptual to, basis, you cannot do it. It's not possible to communicate. You can tie a rope and go across a whirlpool. You cannot tie a rope and go across a black hole. Thank you.